Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you need to find where your radiator fan relays are located, you have up to three relays. Stay with us, we'll explain why. We'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tubes, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. And why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now radiator fan relay where you can expect to find it we will guys demonstrate on that generation GMC Sierra right here you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that GMC Sierra but today for the radiator fan relay we need to open the hood right here and once you open the hood uh, on the driver's side you have that electrical box next to the brake pump and the brake fluid reservoir open that electrical box underneath that's the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so for the radiator fan guys we we're going to have actually not one two but three relays uh, before we explain why uh, if you need to guys buy any fuses relays parts tools radiator fans for gmc sierra or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put the links in the description of the video below check it out you can save a ton of money guys one of the relays will be for low speed one is high speed and one is for the radiator fan control module if we come in that forward section here the relay that you're looking at this is low speed relay high speed relay this is the radiator fan control module relay right here Hopefully guys the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you next time.